What's going on guys? Kalutch here once again. Welcome back for hopefully the second time today. We talked about the Homer DLC package already. Now we got some new mods in the mod hub. Wow, look at our parking lot. It is rammed with stuff. All right, well, let's dive into this guy's bitter pattern. Clutch simulations. All right, so let's talk about, uh, well, I got three mods right in front of us here we'll talk about first. First one up is the Pal Finger Four Shield. Uh, yeah, this is a forestry crane. Simply connects to your three-point hitch on the back of your tractor. Very cool. Uh, we'll take a look at that one in store in a second, but we're going to keep on moving down the line. Nice little uh, nice little hitch, though. Lowerable, obviously, with uh, a three points of contact for stability. Next up, we have the Case IHLB434R. This one here, obviously, is a square baler from Case. And one thing I do like about this, it is a totally different uh, model. It's not just a reskin. This is definitely a little bit different than anything else we have. And uh, it looks really quite nice. So a square baler. I think it's 160 horsepower, but we'll double check that one as well in the store. And the third is the Knott's Garrett PT-16000. This is obviously a slurry wagon. It's got a few options on this as well that uh, kind of make it a little bit different. Eh, not too much, but a little bit. So we'll go look at all three of these mods quickly over in the store. So here is our forest shield, the, uh, the forestry crane. You can see it requires 80 horsepower, so pretty much anything. Total price is 25 grand. You got a few color options, not a lot, but you do have a few to make it your own, I suppose. There you go. So total uh, total price with color changes are 26,300. And here's our case baler, 155 grand. You're looking uh, 160 horsepower, like I said, I actually got it right. Wow, look at that. Anyways, like I said, I like the uh, the look of this one. It does look, I think it looks a little bit different than anything else we have. Let's just double check there. I go back out to our coon. Yeah, coon's definitely different. It's more of a square face on it. It does look a little bit different. I do like it, it looks great. Happy to have a case baler, that's for sure. Fantastic. And last of all, the Garrett Grant, sorry, PT 16,000. Uh, you can see we've got a couple color options there, black, green, and white. And as far as your configurations, here you have a couple different options. So base price is 66 grand, 150 uh, horsepower requirement, 17 kilometer an hour operating speed. Now you have a gooseneck, you can go with the, what is it, the bar distributor, or the uh, three point hydraulic hitch, interesting. So those are your three options for that. Uh, wheel brands, of course, Trellborg or Michelin's, and you have standard or wides for tires. Is it the same for Michelin's? It is too. So it is the same. So all in, if you go with most expensive options, you're up to uh, 76 grand, as you can see there. It is a nice, very well detailed slurry trailer. I do like this one for sure. So those three mods are available for all platforms, console, PC, Mac. Um, however, we do have a couple ones that we need to talk about that are just PC. So if I ignore everything that's on the right there, this weight, this MX uh, weight here is for PC only guys. It's got a little uh, visual indicator there. It is somewhat uh, customizable with size. I think it goes up to 800 above that, so like 2000 kilograms, something along those lines. It's another weight. I'm not gonna go over that one in too much detail. Behind me here, we also have a, a one axle trailer. This is from FS17 actually, we had this. This is a cool little utility trailer. I like this thing, it's awesome. Good for hauling behind a pickup truck, Sim similar to what we've got here. Um, the utility truck here as well for PC, this has been updated as well, just in case you wanted to know, there's been an update out for that. All right, so enough about those mods. Let's quickly talk about all this stuff that I got sitting around here. Now, this is the CSZ or CSZ for my American friends. Uh, this is the CSZ Amer uh, equipment pack. This is available for all players. Once again, console, PC, Mac, everybody has this. And what it is, it's just a ridiculous amount of buckets and equipment for our wheel loaders, our front end loaders, our telehandlers, our skid steers. It is absolutely ridiculous. So it has buckets and equipment for all of them. And there's also adapters so you can interchange things between them as well. So uh, you can see we have just different buckets. We have some uh, debalers. There's an adapter here for changing things up. Um, absolutely ridiculous how much equipment's in this and this is obviously our front wheel loaders these big massive buckets some more adapters um 
yeah, there's so many options here. It's actually kind of overwhelming how many of these we've got. Uh, it's awesome, but wow. I, I don't know if I need too many of my other mods for these buckets anymore. This pretty much takes care of almost everything minus some bale forks. Uh, there's just a lot of options here. So that is the CSZ. Uh, I'm not going to go through each one of these because it would take me about an hour and a half. But just know that you've got very similar pro uh, of buckets and equipment, but it's for every single piece of front loader, skid steer, whatever, telehandler. Yeah, you got something for everything right now. That is pretty cool. All right, let's take a quick look at mods and testing right now. Here are our current mods for PC. Not a lot has changed here. Uh, most of this stuff has either been released already or it hasn't changed from yesterday. Uh, that class MT800 still waiting on that. The IH Puma waiting on that. But you can see here the uh, 2014 transport service that was updated today. The uh, one axle trailer released today. The CSZ equipment pack released today. So nothing much has changed here. Now let's look over on the console side. Uh, once again, not a lot has changed. We do have a few things that have been released today, of course, as you scroll through there. Uh, the Homer H6 and HR9 headers. Interesting, those uh, were not released today, however, still in testing. As we scroll down near the bottom, one of the ones I'm looking at, Pacific Northwest 19. Really? Pacific Northwest? That was only PC originally. Now we're on to uh, console. That'd be fantastic to see that for everybody. And as well below that, the Wilson Pace Setter A-Train. Definitely looking forward to seeing that. That looks fantastic as well. Number of mods in waiting right now to be tested are 70. Current average wait time is currently four weekdays. And that there's going to do it for us today, guys, in the Mod Hub. That's the new updates. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you've not already subscribed, don't forget to do that. And we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.